those bugs and had all that deer activity. The other evening I hunted it and we didn't have any movement and the trail camera's been pretty inactive. Um, I'm pretty sure that the deer are on some acorns somewhere. I've just got to find them. But, I had a, just a quick little bit to get up in the tree. So, I had all this stuff already in the tree. Just went ahead and got in it. I'm going to take it down tonight when I get down. I'm going to be on a new piece of property and in a new spot tomorrow. I just don't know exactly where. But, um, y'all you know, stay tuned, and hopefully we'll have something come in this evening, we'll, we'll see. I'm going to be testing out some different broadheads this year. Um, we'll be testing out some Magnus Stingers. We'll be testing out some Grim Reapers, and some of the G5 Dead Meats. So, I've got a G5 Dead Meat screwed on tonight. Uh, screwed the practice head on my arrows, shot it blue great, um, very accurate, the practice head is, so, we'll just see, we've got some oaks, I can hear a few dropping in this bottom behind me, maybe I can catch some deer going to those, but, all in all, we'll just see, we'll, we'll see what happens.
Ah, ya has. We're gonna get down real quiet. And then we're gonna go take a look at our arrow. With a rifle, I've got a lot of leeway, which is what I've mostly hunted with. Um, it's what I've killed all my bucks with. Um, with a bow, you're not as forgiving. Um, I pulled my shot, I got excited, I jerked, and uh, made a bad shot because of that. So, I've got to do a better job of following through on my shot. Because I did not follow through on my shot, and it's it's cost me. Um, if I'd have done what I was supposed to do, that deer would be laying dead within 100 yards of where I'm at right now. But, you know, here we are now. So we got to deal with the cards we've, we've dealt, we've got dealt, you know, even if it's my fault, not my fault, whatever. Um, we got to deal with the problem at hand, what's done's done. And uh, I think I've got a really good shot at recovering this deer. And the shot's really back, right in front of his hams. Um, pass through, arrow looks covered um, in something. I don't know. Watched the deer walk off, saw him for a little ways, heard him. He went down on the bottom. But I'm about to get everything out of the tree real quiet. And we're going to go take a look at our arrow real quick. Alright, we're out of the tree. I'm going to ease up here and take a look at our arrow. A little bit of blood on it. White fur. We're kicked up. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the house. Alright guys. It is nine o'clock Saturday morning. This deer has sat for giving her almost giving him almost 14 hours. Um we're back in here to look for him. coming up on our hit site now when I started doing some videos I wanted to have an opportunity to learn from people so show my mistakes and learn from some people and uh, and also maybe teach somebody that doesn't know as much because it comes to certain areas of the outdoors I don't have a lot of experience but there's some areas that I've done a lot of so and tracking's one whether it be with dogs or by myself i've done a lot of it i know what to do with a gut shot in the heat of the moment you kind of make some bad decisions but this deer laid all night and this morning so we're about to walk up to where the hit site was and this deer walked off i've got a pretty good idea in my mind where i think he should be all right we're at the hit site this is where the deer was standing he went straight through them trees Followed up that way and then he dropped back down in this bottom Kept going. I'm hoping he bedded up somewhere down there or on top of here But we're gonna do a little walk and walk I'm gonna walk down this I'm just gonna there, there's not gonna be a blood trail to follow um, But I've watched the deer. I know where I last heard him So I'm just gonna kind of walk this and just check it out and I've got my binos with me uh, anything fishy I can stop and zoom in on them with the binos and I can see 
what we look like. So. I'm hoping he'll be right down in there somewhere. I just found him, boys. I just found him. He just come up here and laid down. Just like I said he would. It's like a gut shot deer will do. Yeah, if he come up here and laid down. I knew this deer come out this way and I knew he come down and was hurting. And I got out quietly and he, the gut hit deer feel sick. They feel really sick. And so they'll bed down. Um, usually close. And if they're not pushed, they're still there. And uh, I left, gave this deer like 14 hours. And there he is. You know, I gotta get, um, I gotta hurry up and get this deer taken care of. Um, the meat should still be good. It was really cool weather last night. And, uh, he died faster than I thought he did. But I think with the cool weather and everything, I think we're still in good shape. But I just wanna, you know, some people would look at this deer and they wouldn't think anything of it um he's a little six pointer that might be 10 12 inches wide you know four inches tall with his one point or something like that but uh man i'm gonna tell you something i'm praising the lord and thanking him for the opportunity to take this buck and for helping me find this buck just as much as I would if this was a uh, 150, 170 inch deer. I'm extremely thankful every time that I am successful out here in the woods. And I always want to give the praise and honor and all the glory to God because that's where it belongs. Because <clears throat> each and every perfect thing comes from Him. I can tell you that right now. And uh, it's because of Him um, and his blessings that I'm able to do this, that I'm able to hunt, that I'm able to, uh, climb trees, I'm able to track deer, that I'm able to drag deer, it's all by his blessings that I'm able to do all these things, because I'm gonna tell you something, without him, I wouldn't even be able to get up in the morning or breathe, so he blesses me with the abilities to do these things, and the passion to do it, and I always just want to give him the uh praise honor and glory for everything that i have i want it all to go to him i want all the praise and honor and glory to go to him so but i was just sitting here a minute i'm by myself <clears throat> and i with this buck this is the first buck i've ever shot with my bow and it's really gratifying to me um this buck got me I don't think I could have got any more excited in that saddle yesterday evening. Did it cause me to make a bad shot? Yes, it did. I made a really bad shot. 100% my fault, bad shot. Um, preventable? Yep, it is. But I had shot, I've practiced, but I've not practiced. Um, gotta hold the camera down here. I've not practiced. I can't simulate that environment and i just got excited and i wanted to go ahead and get him shot i was just wanting it to be too fast i had all the time in the world so but you know what after shooting my first buck with my bow and uh shooting my first self-filmed deer and having to wait all night long to go look for it that was it it was gut-wrenching to me and you know, I'm going to be a lot more mindful of following through on my shot um, next time I draw that bow back on an animal. 
because that's all it, that's the difference in making this video with this buck last night and making this video with this buck this morning was just a failure to follow through on my shot i pulled it and it was just a mess but uh you know they're they're magnificent creatures and i'm thankful i get to chase them i'm thankful the lord's blessed me with a passion to chase them you know he's he's all right a lot of people's standards you know they wouldn't have done nothing with him but i'm gonna tell you something he's he's just a little bitty old deer but he got me so tore up and i'm proud of him i'm as proud of him as i would have been with a 130 with a rifle i can tell you right now so thank you we're gonna we're gonna get some pictures took here in just a little bit and get him out and get all our stuff taken care of i gotta call the processor i'm pretty sure his meat's still gonna be good um it was so cool last night but i'm gonna call the processor and we'll get that checked out y'all stay tuned man we found him